Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll be discussing the Bank Nifty Strangle uh, 20 point strategy, which is available on my blog, arunstrategy.blogspot.com. Uh, so uh, the strategy we have to select the Bank Nifty weekly uh, CNP options, which are trading near to 20, and uh, sell them at uh, 9.18. And uh, uh, Stop loss should be 50% on both legs, uh, CE as well as PE. So it is 1.5 of the selling price uh, when uh, at whatever the leg is sold. And uh, exit is at uh, 1520. So uh, if there are any open positions left at that point, we have to exit at uh, 1520. Now how to uh, do that is uh, how to find the bank nifty uh, options which are trading near 20 uh, we have a nse website uh, nseindia.com slash option chain where we can see the option chain for nifty bank nifty or uh, other future and uh, future uh, derivatives uh, also so uh, we have to just select the options uh, as bank nifty and uh, then the expiry date is the weekly expiry and uh, then we'll look for the option bank nifty option which uh, c e and p which are trading near to 20 so on the p side uh, we can see that uh, this 37300 is the one which is uh, trading near to 20 and greater than 20 and uh, on the c side we have 40600 which is trading near uh, 20 means it's almost 20 so uh, as you can see i have added it into my watch list so at 918 i'll sell them and uh, once I have sold them, I'll to put a buy uh, stop loss order uh, to buy them, like if their price goes beyond the selling price. So uh, say in case of uh, uh, the SP whose selling price uh, is at 22.95, I have to put a uh, stop loss buy order uh, for 22.95 into 1.5. So I'll be putting that 34.45, 34. .45, 34 and I can use stop loss limit or stop loss market order, uh, whatever. Uh, so I use stop loss market, but if you want to uh, go with stop loss limit, that also works. So uh, that way we'll put a stop loss order for the P leg and uh, same way one for C leg. And uh, then uh, we have to come in the evening at uh, 3.20 and then uh, if any positions are op uh, open, just square it off because uh, the trade is over and in case the stop loss is hit uh, the position will be already uh, squared off so uh, that uh, will be taken care there now uh, going to the back testing of this strategy uh, so this back testing is for uh, from 2019 uh, as of yesterday which is uh, uh, 26th of august so uh, we can see uh, it is providing consistent returns. Uh, the returns are uh, less only. Uh, say for uh, 2020, it was 16%. For 21, it reached around 40%. And 2019, 30%. For uh, current year, it is uh, around 20%. Uh, so the returns are less as compared to the other uh, strategy. But here, the good point is the risk is also less. So if you see MDD, Except 2020, all the DDD, MDD values are less than uh, 2K. So what it means is uh, the you can uh, run at uh, high number of lots as compared to other strategies which have a higher uh, drawdown. So uh, uh, that is uh, one uh, uh, good thing about this. So it is a low risk, low return strategy. And when I see the profit based on the actual trades, it's almost matching with the back testing. So what it means is uh, it is less impacted by the spikes uh, in the bank nifty option price. So that is a uh, good thing for this strategy. And uh, the other thing which we have to consider is uh, because uh, uh, this strategy has a less returns like say 1940, since 40 is not less, but yeah, 16 uh, is less. So uh, in uh, what will happen is you are taking four trades, uh, one to sell the C uh, and uh, P leg. So those are two trades in the morning. And then uh, if the stop loss is getting hit or whenever you are squaring it, you are again taking two trades to buy the those sold up options. 
so if you go with the broker which is charging 10 20 uh, rupees per lot or 20 rupees per order uh, whatever you have, whatever the plan you have and uh, then you are trading one lot then it it not uh, help much because uh, say it is a daily strategy so uh, and there are 52 weeks in a year so 52 into 5 into 80 so uh, Uh, around 20k is going into the brokerage charges itself which is uh, which will make this uh, strategy as a no profit no gain strategy and uh, if you are having a brokerage of uh, 20 then there will be service charges also around 18% on that and uh, then we have exchange uh, transaction tax tax and uh, security transaction tax so which uh, makes it uh, uh, non profitable it means if the profit is around 20% on the because that entire amount will be going into the charges so uh, this strategy has to be done uh, in one uh, in those uh, that broker where, where you can get zero brokerage for uh, example finvasia and the second thing is uh, it has to be run with uh, more than uh, one lot so at least two recommended is maybe four to six lots uh, so uh, because one lot profit uh, whatever you will earn will mostly go into the charges and if you are using a zero brokerage so half of that profit half of one lot profit will be going into the charges so uh, if you are doing it for more than uh, one lot then only uh, you'll be getting uh, some profit or uh, you'll be getting a profit uh, more than the fds or more than 10% so uh, that is one uh, uh, consideration to be done for this uh, strategy so uh, that's all for this strategy uh, uh, thanks